Hello friends, welcome to IntelliGear and this initial review, first impression video, on the Goal Zero Nomad 7 and Guide 10 Plus Solar Recharging Kit. So, it's pretty straightforward, you got your uh, solar panels right here and they come with this protective film on them, you're supposed to remove this before you use them. You got these uh, hooks here, or nylon loops to hook it on, so you could carry this on your backpack or lash it down to something else. Uh, or it can just be operated independently. And then on the back, actually, one more thing here. Um, there's a magnet in here to keep this closed, and it just folds up like a little notebook. Okay, and then on the back, you have uh, a pouch that carries all of your accessories. These are what came with the kit when I bought it. So you got the uh, battery charger here. We'll get into that more in a, a moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have an adapter so you can also charge um, triple A's as well as the double A's that came with it. And then you have different type adapters here. So you have um, a USB adapter, and a car charger 12 volt type adapter and then you got these uh, plugs here let me flip this around where you can see it so the nice thing about this is the instructions are right printed right on the the inside panel so there you have your um, your input port if you will and it tells you where the different devices go. This can also be chained together with other Nomad 7 panels and um, then put your your guide 10 on there and you know it would charge them even quicker. And like I said they're labeled. So this one is for the 12 volt this cable and then this one is for the guide 10 this cable here. <clears throat> okay, so, um, oh, and you know what, before I show you the guide 10, I'll just even see if you can get a good look at these uh, directions here. They even have a little picture of the best way to orient your solar panel. And uh, I'm going to do another video on how to use this thing and a final review, uh, but I'm sure it works fine. So, but that'll be a separate video, so be looking for that one. This is just first impressions. Okay, so you, your guide 10. Now these can be um, purchased individually or together. So I, I just got the kit because I needed the capability to charge up nine volt batteries. So this thing's pretty cool. It's got this heavy duty metal braided cable here. So if you wanted to hang it, you could hang it. And then um, it's kind of weird looking through the camera doing this, but your, your batteries are right here. And um, let me see here, pop one out for you. And you can see it's pretty straightforward, just, you know, plus to plus. Nice lid. They also sell a, uh, a rubber case for this, a uh, protective case as well. But this is either going to be in my backpack or in the kit, so I didn't think that was necessary. And then you can see here on the back, they've included some uh, instructions on what the different lights mean when you're charging different items. So that's pretty cool that it's right on there. And then looking at the front here, try to keep it here, keep it focused for you guys. Looking at the front here, you have your different inputs. So you have your input for the solar. Uh, you can also charge this via USB. So, you know. You don't have to only use it with your charger. You can use this as a battery charger daily. Um, just get a USB cable and plug it into the wall or your computer. And then you have your USB out, and that's for charging, you know, devices like this, like your iPhone, you know, so something like that. This can charge uh, an iPhone. Okay, so you got... um your three switches here, you're off, you're on, the light will be green if the batteries are good, 
and then it also has an LED and it's pretty bright and they say it lasts for I forget it a pretty impressive I think it's like 100 hours or something off of these batteries is what I was reading <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> all this cold weather coming in it's got me feeling under the weather again but anyways so yeah um, you can imagine how much the double A's are or how much four of those weigh um, there's a little bit of weight to to this but it's packable very easy to pack it away or put it you know on your um, on the outside of your backpack while you're walking as long as the Sun is up high or behind you this is gonna charge uh, it does need direct sunlight to to effectively charge now it, it came in this box and this box looks horrible I bought this on Amazon and this box is just warped and I when I got it when I opened the package I, I was like uh oh I hope this isn't broken but it was packed inside some other packaging inside this box so it didn't get damaged at all but I just wanted to show you this box because it just has some uh, interesting stuff on how it works and of course it comes with instructions too um, I've already read those but I'm just giving you guys the initial my uh, initial opinion if you will on this so anyways let me uh, tilt this up a little bit there you go so well, zoom out maybe okay so here it kinda tells you the devices um, that it can charge so and how many charges you'll get out of it so for like an iPhone you'll get like two charges um, you know or maybe three it just depends I, I'm, I'm guessing I'll probably get two charges off of my iPhone and then it can also charge up tablets and stuff like that too so your your iPads or your Kindles or whatever those other ones are called I'm not into all that but anyways so I just thought this would be a good idea to have since my system if you I'll, I'll put a link um, somewhere in the video maybe up here to my um, battery philosophy video and since my system I primarily use double A's on, only double A's unless you know I absolutely can't find something that'll that I need that'll run off of double A's but pretty much most of my gear runs off of double A's this was the best route to go because one I can charge up my batteries for my flashlights and keep those going but two I can also charge up things like my iPhone or an iPod and um, you know that's pretty cool when you're out there for a long time and you want, maybe you want to watch a movie um, in your tent before you go to sleep on your uh, iPhone or iPod you know so anyways yeah that's um, that's my initial impression I, I think it's it's put to, put together pretty well uh, I mean there's some little things like you may notice that this is in here crooked I think it's supposed to be perpendicular to the corner um, these don't quite line up as you can see but you know whatever um, it looks like it's pretty sturdy I, I've seen videos where they're just thrashing on these things the company that makes these uh, goal zero the guy like just tosses it on the floor from like you know five or six feet off the floor so it looks uh, looks pretty good it's got good good heavy-duty zippers you got these nice kind of rubber uh, zipper pulls on it and let me just flip it back over once again and it looks it looks like a heavy-duty nylon um, it, this is the latest model so they've added this kind of <laughs> it's not really glow in the dark but these these threads are sort of reflective it, it's not a hundred percent like reflective thread but I guess if you needed to find it in the night you could or whatever um, I don't know why you'd have it out in the nighttime though because it's a solar charger but whatever I could have done without the the little green stripes and let's just get a kind of close-up of the solar panel here for you and like I said this has got a protective uh, film on it for you know shipping and storage when they first ship it out so you need to remove that I'm not re gonna remove it until I use it um, because you don't want to get these scratched in any way and if you live in an area where there's a lot of dust or you know dusty conditions you're camping in um, when you close this 
those those are going to rub together ever so slightly but in your backpack they'll rub together and then you're going to scratch this so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take like a i'm going to cut like a piece of uh, felt cloth or like a a chamois or a chamois yeah you know <laughs> i got my chamois love those but anyways and just put that in here to protect these from rubbing together is probably what i'm going to do uh the other thing that uh, when I was doing the research on this newer version is I thought the older version had a hook and loop or velcro um, closing system and this has a magnet and I was kind of disappointed at first because I thought it'd be velcro but it, it stays together when you first get it this is kind of stiff and it wants to spring back open but you can see now like yeah it's not gonna open especially if it's in your pack it'll be fine so there you go the goal zero uh, guide 10 plus solar charging recharging kit uh, with the Nomad 7 solar charger. All right, friends. Appreciate you watching the video. As always, your um, your support makes these videos possible. So please show your support by clicking the like button, sharing my videos, commenting on them. Um, I do appreciate feedback. So if you guys would help me by doing that, I'll be motivated to keep putting out videos. And uh, until next time, friends, this is Intelligear signing off. Be well.